I bought a Tesla Model 3. I did a test drive in February of 2019 and I put a down payment on the Model 3 in April of 2019 and now at the end of September the same year I have got my Model 3. I drove it from the Osaka dealership because there's no dealership in my area. It was just over four hours drive, but I stopped along the way at a supercharger in Kurashiki in Okayama to make sure I had more than enough charge to make it back home, even if we were stuck in traffic or using the air conditioner. At the dealership, you can also check out all the other models. They've got a SUV type model now. They've got the Powerwall home charging systems that you can order. And they say the Powerwall charging systems will be in Japan from spring of 2020. The staff at the dealerships are really helpful and friendly, and they help walk you through how to use the inside console, the computer in the um, car to help you get started and get on your way once you buy your car or when you're doing the test drive. Um, it's actually a lot more straightforward to do the charging than I had thought. I already have a Tesla account because I put a down payment on the model. So once you log in through your car computer, you can pay automatically through your account online whenever you use a supercharger. The online uh, console inside the car tells you how long it's going to take to charge and the total cost at the end. I charged two times on the way back over the four and a half hour journey and each time it was under a thousand yen and under an hour. The superchargers are always set up near shopping areas or coffee shops so that while you're waiting you can go and do something else and stretch your legs. When you put a supercharger into your navigation, it will tell you how many superchargers are available or how many are in use so you can plan ahead. So the reason I chose to buy a Tesla, I was researching um, last year an electric car and I kept uh, reading about all the different cars and there's very few Japanese companies that actually have an electric car available besides the Leaf in Japan and it looked like Tesla is higher value um, a better product overall and it was actually being released in Japan faster than a lot of the Japanese electric cars. Plus, I really like the idea of investing in a company, supporting a company, which is all in for electrics. They don't do electric cars as a side product of their main gas products. Tesla is all in for electric and that was really appealing to me as a part of my new business model, my sustainability brand and my um, targets in my life to be as low waste um, sustainable as possible. So Tesla fits right in. Uh, when I did a test drive last year in Tokyo, um, I did a test drive of the S because they didn't have any Model 3s yet in Japan. And it was such a amazing experience. This is no golf cart. I know a lot of people's image, in, including mine, of an uh, electric car is that it would be like a golf cart. And uh, I've driven hybrids in the past and I, I guess I expected it to be more like a hybrid. But this is a powerful car. This is a really nice car to drive. You have lots of power. Um, it's very comfortable to drive. I, for the last 11 years, I've been driving a K car just because of the size and convenience of it. Um, so this for me is a big step up to a proper, nice driving experience. 
and um, when I was at the charging ports, the superchargers along the way, when I first went to the supercharger um, the first time, I was really nervous. Like, I don't know how am I supposed to pay? How am I supposed to unlock it? But the car is really smart. The car is a supercomputer. So the car knows everything. And when you ask the car to navigate to a supercharger, it starts to get the battery ready. And then when you arrive and you can unlock the uh, charging port and close it, you can do everything from your console. You can see all the charge, supercharging stations around Japan. A lot of them are around Yokohama and Tokyo area, but they're spread around Japan all the way to Kumamoto in Kyushu. Um, so that people can have, people who own a Tesla can have a supercharging station at distances around the country so that you can enjoy exploring Japan and driving all over. It's a really good system. I need to investigate it further, but I have heard that Tesla drivers can also use these Honda charging systems if you register online and get a card. Some other features of the Model 3, which are really fun, is this sunroof. So there's a sunroof over the driver's area as well as the passenger area. So there's a lot of natural light that comes in and uh, that's a really nice design feature. Also, um, I've heard all the interior is vegan. Uh, Tesla's Model 3 line and all of their future cars, the interior will be vegan. Another nice feature is USB ports instead of a cigarette lighter. For me, one of the biggest hurdles has been uh, with the Model 3 and probably with all Teslas or all electric cars is how do you turn it off? <laughs> I am used to having a button where you turn on and off or a key, um, but here you've got your Tesla key card or you can do it all through your telephone um, which is through an app um, but when you're finished using the car until you lock it everything is on and once you get in the car everything is on so um, that's an adjustment I, I think I'm embracing this technology it seems very efficient and very good but for sure that is uh, adjustment like where is my key where is the on off switch that has been uh, something a bit strange I really want to turn it off when I get out the car but um, yeah just use the key card and lock it up and everything goes off automatically and in the morning or when you're ready to use it again you put the key card on the side everything turns on automatically so it's very efficient show you how to open the car. There's a key card. And that's how it opens. Okay, so when I want to charge, I just click on the battery just like you do on your iPhone and you can see how much charge you have for the distance. So I can go 245 kilometers for my charge and I'd like to charge some more. So I'm gonna open my charge port. Charge port is now open. So I can go to the back. See how the charge port has opened. You can see the port entry there in the Tesla mark, which changes color. This is my Tesla home charger, which I had put in <clears throat> for 20,000, about 20,000 yen, 200, less than $200. You just lift up, take it in, and plug it in, and the light starts blinking. When it um, is finished, it'll change color to blue, and as it's charging, it has a nice light effect there inside the car it says it's charging and it tells you how long it's going to take to finish charging you can set your limits usually you set it about 90 percent if you're going to do a long trip 
you can set it all the way to the end 100% but for daily charging it's recommended to have a lower limit about 90% so I'm thinking of doing a longer drive today so I'm gonna charge to 90% and that should get me there and back no problem so it's finished I think oh, yeah and just pull it out <clears throat> put it back into the charging station I got my Tesla yesterday so excited um, from the looks of it every time I use a supercharger I might be one of the only women driving a Tesla and I might be one of the only owners of a Tesla in this area I haven't really seen many other people driving Tesla's many people are very interested and it's very exciting to be on the cutting edge of this electric car technology and to be supporting a company that's all in for electrics that's all they do is electric vehicles so I'm really happy to support Tesla and to have such a great quality electric car that's fun to drive it's got lots of power and if you're interested in a Tesla um, please keep watching and I'm sure I will have lots of updates and uh, be doing lots of trips in my great new car.